Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name's Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW Blue Plan. Today I have a little bit different video for you. We're gonna do a taste test. So Enlightened recently sent me all of their new line of cheesecakes and cookie dough bites. You heard me right, cheesecake and cookie dough bites. So thank you Enlightened for sending these out. This is not a sponsored video. I do not have an affiliate link. I'm just going to share my honest opinion with you on these Enlightened products. Now you can find some of these at your local store. You can also order these off of the Enlightened website. So I will leave that linked down below with a discount for you guys. Again, it's not an affiliate link. I don't receive any commission. I just wanted to share with you their new products because you know I love their ice cream bars and I'm excited to try the new cheesecake and cookie dough bite line as well. I'm also going to taste test the two new barbells. Well, new to me from Trader Joe's. So many of you have reached out and asked me to taste test the bars. So I wanna do that and I wanna give you my honest opinion, let you know if these cookie dough bites cheesecakes and barbell bars are worth the points and the calories. So that's what we're doing in today's video. It's going to be kind of a fun one, a different one, and I'm super excited. I've not had lunch, so this is a great segue into moving into lunch for me today. So if you enjoy these types of videos, these taste tests, please give this one a big thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on so you don't miss a single video. Also check out that description box down below again for the Enlightened products. I'll link them down below for you guys. And the barbells, you just pick those up at Trader Joe's. I will see if I can find them online, most likely on Amazon, and I'll link them down below for you guys as well. You're also going to find my nutrition coaching website, so check that out. Take advantage of having me figure your macros and your calories. I also have group coaching and one-on-one -on -one coaching, so spend a little time over on my website. It's a great place to be with lots of great information Information. You're also going to find links and discount codes to all of my other favorite products and the link to head over and join me on Facebook. We'd love to have you be part of that community as well. So I'm hungry and we have lots to taste test, so let's jump in. to taste test the Enlightened products so that I can get these back in my freezer. I am going to let the cheesecake sit out while we taste test the cookie dough bites so that they can become a little softer at room temperature for me to taste them. So I want to start first with the cookie dough bites. So I have five different flavors of the Enlightened Keto Cookie Dough Bites. Now these are a keto designated product but lucky for us, they are WW friendly. So there are two and a half servings per bag and they range in calories from about 90 to 110 per serving. There are 24 bites in a serving. So that's a lot of cookie dough bites. And again, they range from three to four smart points per serving. So I will put up on the screen when we taste test each flavor, the number of points. So let's try the peanut butter first. So this is the peanut butter snackable straight from the bag cookie dough bites. So here is what the little cookie dough bites look like. Oh my gosh, they smell and look so good. Oh, it's definitely peanut butter. So let's give one of these a try. And again, you get 24 of these for the smart points. Those are really good. Definite peanut butter, peanut butter front and center, which I love. And then there are little mini chocolate chips. Even in that little cookie dough bite, there were chocolate chips. This is really, really delicious. So I wanna go over some carb information with you as well as some ingredient information. So basically they're saying that these bites per serving are two net carbs. Now I don't know if that's the same. Yeah, it looks like that's the same for all of the cookie dough bites. Now they do have some questionable ingredients or some not clean ingredients is a, probably a better way to say that. So there is allulose in here as a sweetener. Now that's a naturally derived sweetener from figs and raisins, so that's a good option. There's also erythritol, four grams in this particular one, which is about a teaspoon, so that's not too bad as well. You do wanna limit your sugar alcohols to about 10 to 15 grams per day, so we don't wanna eat the whole bag, but in a serving, we're good. There is natural flavor in here, which AKA is artificial flavor. And other than that, it doesn't look too bad for ingredients. So you are having some sugar alcohols, that's how they keep the calories and points so low, but this peanut butter one, 10 out of 10. Next, we're going to try the fudge bite. So these ones are 90 calories, also two net carbs, 
And again, similar ingredients. We, I still see natural flavors. And these also have four grams of erythritol. So I'm excited for these. Ooh, they smell very, very chocolatey. So here's what they look like. Wow, those are good. It's little bits of fudge. It literally tastes like fudge. Wow, really, really good. Also, 10 out of 10. I also have my water here to cleanse my palate. Next are the birthday cake. Now, I'm excited for these because I love everything birthday cake. 90 calories, four grams of erythritol, two net carbs. They better have sprinkles because this package has sprinkles. Oh, they do. So here is what it looks like. I don't know if you guys can see the little sprinkles in there, but they do have the little birthday sprinkles. Like I said, I'm excited for these because I love everything birthday cake, but a lot of things birthday cake flavor don't taste like birthday cake. So here's to hoping these do. Okay, Enlightened, I see you. These definitely taste like birthday cake. They're really, really good. Now, I do like the peanut butter and the fudge better, but I would give these about an eight out of 10. I will say that I do taste the cooling effect of the erythritol a little more in these for some reason. I don't know, it's the same four grams as the other two. I guess I just taste it a little bit more in this one, but it's still really, really good. And I don't think that I mentioned that these are also gluten-free. So if you don't eat gluten, this is a great little dessert option. So I would give these eight out of 10. Next up are the Snicker Doodle. Again, two net carbs, four grams of erythritol, pretty standard, 90 calories in these ones. So I'm hoping that these are cinnamony because that's what I just love about Snicker Doodles is the cinnamon. I wonder, okay, so they look a lot like the birthday cake. So they don't, I don't see cinnamon in there. That doesn't mean it's not there. Let's try it. It's good, but it doesn't taste snickerdoodle. I taste zero spice, zero cinnamon. To me, it tastes like just plain cookie dough, which isn't a bad thing. I mean, it tastes good. It just definitely isn't as cinnamony as I was hoping. So I would say because of that, I would rate these about a six out of 10. Last up for the cookie dough bites is just the chocolate chip. Two net carbs, four grams of erythritol, 90 calories. Now I'm hoping that these, oh yes, I see chocolate chips. I'm excited for that. So I hope that I get cookie dough and chocolate. Those are good. It is cookie dough all the way. I mean, it tastes like you're eating chocolate chip cookie dough. You're baking homemade cookies and you're eating the dough. That's what this tastes like. Again, the little mini chocolate chips, same ones that were in the peanut butter. These are really, really good, 10 out of 10. So those are the five flavors of the Enlightened Cookie Dough Bites. I'm gonna pop these back in my freezer and then we are going to taste test the cheesecakes. But I would highly recommend these. I have not seen these in my store. So please leave a comment down below if you have found these in store and what store you found these at. But I will make sure that I link them down below off of the Enlightened website with 10% off for you. Next, we are gonna try all of the Enlightened Cheesecakes. We have five cheesecake flavors. Now these are a little bit more point heavy, a little bit more calorie heavy. I do want to take a look at the ingredients. Here's kind of what they look like. This is the pumpkin cheesecake. And I, let me actually, let's pull it out. Let's look at the cheesecake first and then let's go over the ingredients. So when you get it, it comes in this little cup here. And I have let these sit out while we taste tested the cookie dough bite. So they're a little bit soft, but this is what the cheesecake looks like in the little cups. I would say it's filled to about there. It smells really good. So let's go over the calories and the ingredients and then we'll taste test all of these. So again, this is the pumpkin. It's 210 calories for the one cheesecake. There's eight grams of erythritol, so a little more sugar alcohol, about two teaspoons, and they're saying two net carbs. As far as ingredients goes, which I'm assuming is going to be the same amongst all of these minus the flavoring component. There is natural flavor. There is cornstarch, which obviously is not non-GMO. And it is with erythritol and allulose again. But what I'm most disappointed about is that there's carrageenan in here. So I do not eat carrageenan because it's an inflammatory. Now I am going to try these for the sake of this video, but I'm gonna give these all to my husband. I just choose not to ingest carrageenan. So again, I'll try all these out, let you know my opinion. If you don't care about the ingredients or carrageenan and these are delicious, then I would highly, highly recommend them. So let's dive in. We're first going to try pumpkin. All right, pumpkin cheesecake. 
it's good. I taste pumpkin, I get cheesecake, and I also get this taste of butter, which is not a bad thing, it's just that creamy taste of butter. This is really, really delicious. I just wish it didn't have carrageenan in it. If you don't know what carrageenan is, besides it being an inflammatory, it's an emulsifier. So it's what's going to thicken things. So it's probably what's used to thicken up the cheesecake. But I would say this is really good. I would rate this, ingredients aside, a 10 out of 10. Next, we are gonna try just the very plain, classic cheesecake. This one is also 210 calories, two net carbs, and eight grams of erythritol pretty much the same ingredients as in the pumpkin cheesecake. I'll show you guys what this one looks like and then we'll taste it. So here is what the classic cheesecake looks like. And here we go. Let's see if this is as good as the pumpkin one. I like that it has this little like whipped creamy looking thing on top. Maybe that's where that buttery flavor comes in. Nonetheless, let's try it. So that whipped cream looking thing on top is definitely where that buttery flavor is coming. This one's really good as well. It tastes like real legit cheesecake. And what is surprising to me is I don't taste the cooling effect of the erythritol, which is interesting because there's double the erythritol in these than in the cookie dough bites. And in the birthday cake one, for example, I tasted more erythritol. They did a good job disguising it. This again, really good, 10 out of 10. We are now going to try the classic chocolate cheesecake. This one, same everything, 210 calories, eight grams of erythritol, two net carbs. Let's see what it looks like. I'm excited because it's chocolate. So there is your chocolate cheesecake. Let's try it, cheers. Yum, my favorite so far. It's very rich in chocolate flavor, like the chocolate just is front and center. You guys, this is really, really delicious. Now. I would take the points for these because it's a very indulgent dessert. Now, mine are still pretty frozen. I would definitely leave yours out on the counter a little bit longer so that it becomes more the consistency of cheesecake. This one, 10 out of 10, my favorite so far. The next one is caramel chocolate cheesecake. Yes, please. Same everything. Oh, 220 calories, 10 calories more. Still the eight grams of erythritol, the two net carbs. Let's take a look at what it looks like. I like how they're individually portioned because it's hard to overeat when they're in individual little cups. But this one is cute. So it looks like caramel cheesecake with the chocolate chips on top. Here's hoping for lots of caramel. Incredible. This is hands down my favorite. I know I said that about the chocolate. So good. It is creamy, rich caramel with a little bit of chocolate. This is so good. I was kind of looking at the back of this and it says that you can do a quick microwave thaw if you throw it in on high for 10 seconds. You can do a room temperature thaw for 20 to 30 minutes or thaw in your refrigerator for 30 to 45. So I just haven't let them thaw enough, but you can't. These are incredible, I'm not gonna lie, not gonna lie. Last cheesecake, I'm really excited about this is strawberry cheesecake. One other thing I wanna show you, we haven't eaten an entire one, so we haven't gotten to the bottom, but it looks like there is the cheesecake crust on the bottom of all of these as well. So all of the boxes kind of show that same like crust along the bottom. So this one is the lowest calorie, lowest point of all of them. This one is 180 calories. There's still two net carbs, but this one actually has one more gram of erythritol, which is probably how they got the calories a little bit lower. This one has nine grams of erythritol, but points wise, not bad at all for a full size dessert. And this looks really good. Ooh, look at this. It is like strawberry with cheese, oh, yum. Wow, another winner, 10 out of 10 for all of these cheesecakes. This is so good. It definitely tastes like real strawberries. Like you smash some strawberries up, popped them on top of the cheesecake. I am incredibly impressed with the cheesecakes. I am incredibly impressed with the cookie dough bites. Enlighten knocked it out of the park once again. So now that we've gotten to try all the cookie dough bites and cheesecakes and they were winner winner chicken dinner, we're gonna try the two flavors of barbells that I picked up at Trader Joe's. Now these were $1.99 a piece. This one is the caramel cashew. This is the cookies and cream. I'll put the points here on the screen for these. They are 200 calories each. Let's take a look at the ingredient label. So as I expected, not the best ingredients. There is malitol in here, which 
malitol. It also can cause stomach upset when eating in large amounts. There's sucralose, AKA Splenda, not my favorite, natural and artificial flavors, and sunflower oil, which is a really highly processed oil that I try not to eat as well. But, 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 everything in moderation. There is no good food and no bad food, everything in moderation. So I'm excited to try these because I have heard nothing but good things. So first one up is caramel cashew. So here is what that looks like. Ooh, here's what the bar looks like. Ooh, you guys, that looks good. So here we go, cheers. Pretty good. Now I definitely taste the chocolate and it tastes like real chocolate. I will say that the caramel cashew middle center of the bar, this kind of like caramely here, doesn't have much flavor, honestly. I really taste the chocolate and then I get a little bit of the nuttiness. It's okay. I probably wouldn't repurchase it, number one, ingredient wise, and number two, I think that there's a lot better options for points wise for protein bars. I don't hate it, but I probably wouldn't repurchase this flavor. I would rate this six out of 10. And lastly, we're gonna try the barbell in cookies and cream. And here's what it looks like. So it looks like little cookie dough bits instead of the nuts. I didn't mention these do have 20 grams of protein, which is awesome. So let's try this one. Ooh, it smells good. Cheers. Before we get into my review, duh, Jen, they're called bear bells, not barbells, bear bells. This one, I like it better. Those little cookie dough pieces that you saw on the outside are nice and crunchy. It definitely tastes like cookie dough. I like this one better. I think this one definitely has more flavor. So I would purchase the cookies and cream again, not eat it regularly, but I would definitely repurchase this. So out of the two, I would go with the cookies and cream, but I recommend that you try all of these products for yourself. We all have different taste buds. So you may love the ones I hate. You may hate the ones I love. So I highly recommend trying all these out yourself. Again, I am going to link them all down in the description box below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, a real live, honest review, first time taste testing these products. And hopefully you pick a few of these up for yourself. Again, they will be linked down below along with my nutrition coaching website, my Facebook group, links and discount codes to all of my other tried and true favorite things. And if you are new, I'd love for you to join my channel. I'd love to have you. Make sure you subscribe and your bell notification is turned on. If you like taste test videos, give this one a big thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know, have you tried these products for yourself? Are you going to try any of them? And let us know your opinion. It's always nice to hear what other people think of the products that I try. So thank you guys again so, so much for watching. I love you all and I'll see you next time. Bye.